Hi, my name is Mackenzie Kochman. I'm going to talk about the anatomy of the heart and kind of the electrical and mechanical impulses that go through. So essentially, your heart is a big pump made of muscles. It's constantly contracting and relaxing every minute of the day 24-7. So the size of it is about the size of your fist. So if you close your hand and make a fist, that's going to essentially be the size of your heart. And it's placed in the center of your chest between the lungs protected by the ribs. It's kind of a misconception. A lot of people think it's on the left um, side of your chest, but it's actually, like I said, placed in the center. So kind of looking at what the heart actually looks like, um, this is kind of like a handy little picture I drew. And you have four chambers. You have the right atrium and the left atrium, as well as the right ventricle and left ventricle. And you might wonder why it's kind of opposite as you're looking at it. That's because left and right, you kind of think of it as the person you're looking at or like the patient essentially. So um, with these four chambers, we have four valves. We have the mitral valve, the aortic valve, the tricuspid valve, and the pulmonary valve. So eventually, or essentially what these do, it kind of prevents the blood from going back into um, the chamber that that it was already in. So that way it stays like one constant flow and doesn't get all over the place and kind of chaotic and pull up. So with going into the flow of the heart, um, we're going to kind of start from the lungs. Inside the lungs, you breathe in oxygen and that kind of oxy ox oxygenates the blood. And that's where you see kind of this red here. This is all oxygenated blood from your lungs and it'll all flow in here to your left atrium. From the left atrium, it's going to um, contract and get pushed into your left ventricle, which is kind of like a holding place because atrium, funny enough in Latin, is it means entrance hall. And then ventricle in Latin kind of means little belly. So they're like little bellies that kind of hold that blood. And so, um, going back through the flow, the left ventricle will go into this aorta, and then the aorta is going to distribute it to the rest of your body. So, it's going to go through all of the little arteries and kind of oxygenate like all your fingers and your toes and all, everything in between, especially up to your brain. And then once it goes through the body, it's going to come back to the heart. And it comes back to the heart through two veins, um, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava. And then the inferior vena cava is going to be all the blood from the lower part of your body. And then the superior is going to be all the blood from the upper portion of your body. And then it's going to all flow into this right atrium right here. And then from the right atrium, it's going to go into this right ventricle, um, passing through this tricuspid valve, and then go through into this pulmonary artery right here and then it's going to pass through that pulmonary valve right there and that's going to prevent it from going back and then from there it's going to go back to the lungs so it's one big giant cycle that is constantly happening and then you may be wondering what kind of causes that flow or like how it works essentially your heart is going to contract and relax when it contracts that's going to be what's pushing all of the blood through and when it relaxes that um, is when all of the blood kind of fills up into those chambers and what kind of causes those contractions are electrical impulses through your electrical cells so in your brain you have the medulla oblonga and it's kind of located in um, your brain stem which is kind of like along like the um, base of it's like along the base of your uh, brain, kind of like where it transitions into your spine. And then from there, it will send um, impulses to your SA node or your sinus node, which is located kind of right here in your right atrium. And then that's kind of like um, kind of your main point of contact or the main thing that's going to um, kind of have the rate of your blood pumping. It's kind of your pacemaker. And then from there, you have your VA node, which is your ventricular, um, uh, 
ventricular atrial ventricular <laughs> um node and then from uh that essentially is um it's kind of a gatekeeper uh, between your atria and um ventricular ex or yeah ventricular excitation so it's those electrical impulses are going to make them excited and that's what's going to cause them to contract and from there that branches off into your bundle of his which will kind of travel down the middle and then your pyrungi fibers which will be located kind of like here at the bottom and they're just like little tiny fibers and then kind of going back to that medulla oblonga it's going to separate into two um nervous systems you're going to have your parasympathetic and your sympathetic your parasympathetic system is kind of in charge of your sleep and your digestion and kind of things that slow your body down it's going to reduce contractility so it's going to reduce the rate of it contracting and it's going to slow the conduction through this AV node right here so that's going to be what causes your heart rate or like on the mechanical side of things the like boom 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 of your heart so and then on the other side your sympathetic that's your fight or flight system so that's going to be what's going to increase that contractility. It's going to increase the um, conduction through the AV node. It's going to increase your heart rate. And a lot of that is caused by adrenaline. So there's a, with those working together, it's going to balance out like the, your heart rate, which is usually 60 to 100 beats per minute um, or 60 to 80. And then usually... Um, if you're like super excited, your heart rate's gonna go up and that's your sympathetic kicking in and then just the opposite as you're resting, it's gonna be your parasympathetic. So that's just a little bit about the heart and um, kind of how it works all together. Thanks for watching.